Hello, welcome to ICTTrends.com and I am Suresh Kanal. In today's video session, I am going to solve a question from MSXS from the sample set 10. The question is like this. Uh, create uh, following tables in ECC2012 database and insert 5 records. So we need to create a new database named ECC2012 and inside that database we will create a table called sales. The sales table will contain the fields uh, sales ID, prod ID, sales quantity and sales rate. Among them, a sales ID is the primary key field for this table. And the question number four asks you to create a parameter query so that you can enter product ID and view sales quantity, sales rate and sales amount. Sales amount is calculated as sales quantity into sales rate. So there are two fields from the table into our query, sales quantity and sales rate. Then we will create the third field, the sales amount in the query itself. Moreover, our query needs to be a parameter query. I'm going to solve this question using MS Access 2003. Well, this is my Access application started. Now I need to create a new database. I'll go to File menu and New menu. On the File New panel, on the right hand side, choose Blank Database. It will produce a dialog box asking you the name and location of your database. The name of our database will be ACC2012 and it must be stored in the desktop on the uh, folder under my symbol number. So click it Create. It will create a blank database. Uh, there's nothing inside it right now and we need to create a sales table inside this database. To create a new table on the tables object, double click the create table in design view, this command. It will open the table design window and here I'll create the fields. Uh, the first field is sales ID. The data type can be auto number and this is the primary field of this table so right click here and choose primary key and then the second field I need is prod ID P R O D I D. this is the product ID it must be the primary key in products table but here in sales table this is a foreign key uh, so it should be the field type should be number if the product table and uh, the type of this product ID is auto number it will be number in as a foreign key and another field I need is sales QTY the type must be number very obviously and sales sorry sales rate the type data type should be currency okay these are all the fields required for the sales table click the close button it'll ask you to confirm whether you want to save this table when you click yes, it will ask the name. Our name is sales for this table. Click it OK. So our sales table is created uh, in FCC2012 database. This is solution for question number three. Now for question number four, we need to create a parameter query so that you can enter the product ID. Okay, let's, so let's go to create the query. Uh, to create a query, you will click on the query object on the database window and then double click this create query in design view it will open the query builder window and a show table dialog box is open from here choose the table on which you want to base your query click on add this table is added click close from this table uh, box choose the fields that you need for your query like click on the first field and hold shift click on the last field we'll select all these three fields click them and drop in the this builder window product ID uh, sales quantity and sales rate will be used in our query and we need additional one another field sales amount and the calculated field so click in this box and type uh, amount a m o u sorry and amount colon the amount will be calculated as sales 
quantity multiplied with sales rate so this will be the another field for the query so simple query up to this is okay but we are asked to create a parameter query so that user enters a prod ID and view sales quantity so user will enter the product ID and we will display the value of all these fields uh, to create a parameter query click inside this criteria box and type the square bracket open large bracket write down the prompt what you want to display on dialog box when this query is executed like here enter product ID this text will be displayed on the dialog box then user will type some product ID and the all the records that match with that product ID will be uh, displayed you in this query so after do this you click it close ask confirms whether you want to save it why not yes and name your query like Q U E and sales uh, query based on sales click it okay so this is a sales query well this is all that the question asks but to test whether it is working let me answer a few records into the table sales ID product ID if it is 1001 quantity if it is 25 or rate is 340 per item 1002 uh, it was uh, sold for sold uh, 45 items uh, for uh, 32 rupees and 1003 item was uh, sold 50 items for uh, 62 63 rupees and 1004 was uh, sold for 47 items it costs 50 rupees and 1005 was, was sold for uh, sold 20 items for 10 rupees each. Uh, this way we have got 1001 2 3 4 and again let me add one another one 1001 item again was sold for 30 pieces for 340 rupees uh, this way you can insert some records now let me test the query if it is working correctly or not double click this query icon enter product id the text that we type inside the large square brackets appears on the dialog box here and if i want to view the record of 1001 then click ok the query runs there are two items uh, one time it was sold uh, 25 uh, um, uh, 25 pieces and another time it was sold for 30 pieces the amount is calculated here automatically uh, it's displayed that means the query is working perfectly we created the uh, created it correctly so again second time if you need to run it let me test about 1002 yes 1002 45 items were sold for 32 rupees each and amount is 1440 so the query is working correctly that means we created it uh, correct uh, that's all for this question number three and four of from ms access don't forget to visit ictrends.com for more preparation materials. Here in ictrends.com, you have the free email subscription service also. You can just enter your email address here and then click on subscribe button uh, so that you will get notification email immediately whenever any new uh, content is published in ictrends.com. I hope this video was useful for you and thank you for watching.